Hello my legends, it's your boy Link and today we're going Christmas shopping in Chelmsford. Hey legends, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Link and today we're going shopping in Chelmsford. Um, Amy's working in Chelmsford today so I decided I would use that as an excuse to start my Christmas shopping and go shopping in Chelmsford. I haven't been shopping in Chelmsford for a long, 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 long time. Um, my sister used to live in Chelmsford for a, a short while, so I have been to Chelmsford a few times, but um, we'll see what it's like. But at the moment, I'm staying in the Premier Inn, and it's time to go get a bit of breakfast. I miss a, a few things about living in the South. Traffic isn't one of them. I swear, I've been sat here for like minutes. Not even like seconds, like minutes. Just not even able to get onto the roundabout, let alone across the roundabout. And um, the journey should take about 35 minutes, I think, but it's taking, according to the sat nav, over an hour and a half. So yeah. Welcome to the South, people. So Amy's working at the hospital in Chelmsford, so I am waiting at the bus stop to get a bus from the Broomfield Hospital, which is nowhere near the town centre, into town. And it says it's four minutes. So, let's wait. We're not going to Hollywood, we're going to Gallywood. Is that what they call it in the Bible movie? Bad news, apparently we're not going to Gallywood. It's hospital, Chelmsford City Centre, so we're not going to get to see what Gallywood has to hold, but let me know if you've been to Gallywood because I'm intrigued what it's like now. I don't think this has ever happened in my life. I'm the only person on the bus. Literally the only person on the whole bus. So two stops before it tells me to get off. There is a cathedral. Should we get off at the cathedral and have a look at the cathedral? Maybe. Let's see. This pet shop says they sell monkeys. I don't know what this one is, but look at it. Like, it gives me almost Liverpool vibes, like the sort of, some of the buildings down the docks built by the sort of um, Navy companies. Now coming into the sort of town centre, it's just quite nice. I haven't been in shops or anything yet, but I have shouted the five guys, so we know lunch is sorted, if we don't see anything better. There's so many ways to go, you've got Bond Street that way, and then there's like a whole shopping centre here, so, and there's also a market down there. So, I don't really know where to start. Bye. I didn't think we'd ever go into TRU again, but here we are. I'm so excited, the Toys R Us is making a comeback, I'm not even going to lie. I'm going to walk up the escalator as well, that's how exciting it is. Actually, kind of like a Toys R Us. It's got a Jeffrey Giraffe. I wonder if they've got the Toys R Us exclusive Funko Pop, so America has a better don't. I'm more shopping for other people than myself today, though, but we will still look at the Lego. Oh, I 
they put the advent calendars, the Lego ones, but they're like £21 on Amazon for Black Friday, so probably better get one from there. You all know I like a lightsaber, but what the hell is this? It's like an Ahsoka Tano shaped thing. How weird is that? I guess people don't like Hot Hogan anymore. They have a little Jeffrey Burt stand with like bags and stuff. And um, I don't collect ad icons, but they've got a little Toys R Us Jeffrey holding the globe. I'm tempted. The boxes aren't great. There's two of them, but both the boxes are bashed. Look how small it is though. Calling that Toys R Us is a big stretch. If you went to Toys R Us back in the day. Like, we might love Jeffrey, but we loved him more. Part of me feels happy that I had that experience. Part of me is like sad that it's dead, basically. Like, like that version of Toys R Us is more dead than no Toys R Us. All my Christmas friends have to buy are for women, basically, but all girls, but um, mankind's good, isn't it? But look at that carton. I don't want that. I don't want Randy. That's sick. Oh, no. No. That's so much cool stuff. Look at that. And that's what comes in. Have a look at this big bloke. There's something about one of these Christmas trees, isn't there? Like, it's so big. Snow Fairy has landed. Nice little Star Wars thing. That Lush. It's a bit early to buy like Lush products because they're like fresh. So it feels like it's a bit early to buy it for Christmas presents. So, we're good doing this. I think I'm going to come back here for lunch because they've got Popeyes and I've never had Popeyes before. I've still not bought anything because I'm going to go Poundland so I think that'll break the drought. I thought this was a pound, but um, I nearly fell for this game. You can't catch me out. How good is this? Shameless knockoff. Tim the Tank on the We know what you're doing. Also, that's two pounds, well, not a pound. I don't have anyone young enough to buy this for, but it's a basket with 16 items. Like credit cards and stuff. Little Panaman basket. It's four quid, can't be haunted just for the basket, I think it's cool. They've got some cool bits for any sort of people think about starting YouTube, like ring light, free pound for webcam, phone drop. Pretty good. They're really leaning into the whole elf on a shelf thing in here. I've actually bought some stuff. Um, 90% of it's present, so I can't really show you, but there's some paracetamol in there, which isn't interesting, but I love my elf bag, it was 175 though. Can't look at this window display. That's legit, isn't it? They've gone for that. It's not exactly Phoenix though, is it? It's 11 o'clock, so it's not lunch time, but I'm gonna go get a small Popeyes now, and then I might get another snack later if I'm hungry still. Just because I really want to try it. I don't know what to get, they don't have like a mixed thing like KFC, you either get like Louisiana chicken, or a burger, or the tenders, or hot wings, it's not like a deal where you get everything, so I'm going to have to have a look. You guys know how I feel about a dip, look at this, ranch, mayo, old barbecue, buffalo, Louisiana hot, classic mayo, spicy mayo, mango habanero, voodoo sweet chilli dip, and ketchup. Nice. 10.34 for a five tenders meal. It's a large, but is that a bit steep? I don't know, it might be worth it, we'll find out. Also, looks like you get table service, which is a win. See, this was ordered and delivered in under two minutes. Rate that. What's the point in table service though if I've got to go fill up a Coke? So here we go, first chips. Oh, they're good. Loads of seasoning on them. Quite a bit of cooking. for the hot. It's not overly hot, but it's really nice. It's got a bit of the voodoo sweet chili. That smells so spicy. I know it's called voodoo, but it's sweet chilli, I don't think it'd be that hot. It's really hot, but really sweet, really nice, loads of different flavours, so calm down. I've also got a nice spot by the window where I can do plenty of the old people watching, but um, all the people's gone. I'm in the tent. 
and all the AW guys will reduce the temp mount. Is AW dying, guys? All the normal Funko Pops are 2 for 20. I don't think there's anything I need, but. Well, they've got Dusty Rhodes, though. If I needed Cody, I'd get to both. All them weird Star Wars things. It's both like the Mandalorian. What is that about? So far, like, everything seems crazy expensive everywhere. I don't know if it's because it's like Black Friday deals online and stuff. But yeah, I haven't really seen any gifts that I'm like, yeah, I could buy that for so and so. That aren't in like my Amazon wish list for like 10 quid less. So yeah, I not really bought much yet, but it's early in the day. Still a few hours. Let's go check out High Channel and see if there's anything in there. There's a HMV, it looks like a, a fancy one. Look at these lounge fly bags. How cool is that one? Eddie, you your fingers on that? Shit. I swear Sports Direct summed up everyone's used to be £2.50. £5.50 each now, two for £9. That's mad. Sports Direct also now sells Prime. They've got Glowberry on there, but they don't have it. It's all ones I've tried, unfortunately. But I want to try that. That Halloween Glowberry one looks sick. Little calendar shop, and it looks like Ty from Arsenal Fan TV has been invited to do the Arsenal one. If you know, you know. Chelmsford has a huge market, so let's go check it out, see if it's any good. The market was awesome. If you see the entrance there, it's that wide, and it goes all the way down there. Um, most people were only dealing in cash, though, and it was a bit awkward to film, so it was fun. There's loads of weird stuff. It was like a rubbish version of Camden market, I'd say, but I enjoyed it, and I'd recommend checking it out if you've got some time there. I wish I hadn't eaten already. Look at all these different places like Jamaican food and stuff. And also in the market, there was all like little like street food things like Asian food, noodles. And there was a guy selling like proper like homemade jerk chicken. That's what I missed out on. God. See what CDX has. I really want this OG Game Boy, but for £75, I don't think it's responsible. But I feel like I should. How clever is this? Hey, hey, batteries that you just plug into the USB. In Tiger 6 bit, it's actually worth it, I think. Ow. The lights are on now. Not that you can see them still, but they're on. I caved in. It's so expensive though, look. I got the little bacon burger. Chips and a drink. £20.5 bit. Wow. I have my food now, but because of the extortion cost, I decided that for £20 I deserve a bit of marking. So I've made this. To go up on my board for the fridges. I put it up on the way out. This is why we love five guys. Look at that. I'm not even that hungry. I just needed somewhere to sit and charge my phone. That's how many people find it. If you do watch the channel, it's yours if you want it. Also refilled the drink, ready for me to leave so I've got plenty of cocoa. This is where all the Easter egg mugs would end up. They have Taco Bell as well. So that brings us to the end of our adventure in Chelmsford. We basically, um, I went around some second hand shops and stuff like now, but it's quite hard and awkward to film in some of these little tight charity shops and second hand shops and stuff. A lot of them are like independently run so you don't want to like upset the owners and stuff. But yeah, Amy's going to pick me up now so nearly Thanks on. so much for watching today guys. If you've enjoyed that, you can click up here and you can watch another video of mine. Or if you really love it, if you really, really love it, or even if you just like it a little bit, go down here and subscribe to the channel. It means you'll never, ever miss what is coming up real soon.